Hey everybody, I'm Yusuke, I'm the founder of the Salty Playground and in this video I would like to show you how to incorporate instant replay into your stream. But first off, let me thank you for your support over the past, be it in form of likes, follows, subscriptions, donations or just kind words. <coughs> or giant chocolate letters. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Rimen. Anyway, it feels good to know that your work is being appreciated. Okay, so um, without any further ado, let's cut to the solution, shall we? For Instant Replay, we're using a software called vMix. vMix is intended for live audio view production. It is developed by an Australian company called Studio Coast. They have a Twitter channel, follow them on Twitter, their handle is at vmixhd and yeah the software is essentially free of charge. I say essentially because the software comes in five different editions and only the basic version is free of charge. The basic version is highly restricted though it's just perfect for being used for Smash. Up until Smash 4 that is because the Wii U uses a um, um, a higher output resolution um, which exceeds the limitations of the basic version. If you want, would want to use it for uh, Smash 4 or any other modern generation console you would have to buy either one of the HD versions or the 4K version. We're sticking with the basic version for this one. Uh, you can get the software bundle from the download page, the current version is 14, which means I'm being I'm outdated right here. Um, I will not walk you through the installation process. This is pretty forward stuff. They will ask you to agree to their terms, ask for um, installation folder destination stuff like that. At one point, they will ask you for um, for your email address in order to send you a serial key which you will need for the basic version otherwise you will end up with a 60 day trial of the full version. So this is what it looks like. Maybe just talk about um, the general usage first. So normally you would go ahead and include the your capture device directly into your streaming software. Not with this software. We're going to import the, the capture device in this software or the, the output of the, of the capture device, buffer it up, um, save videos from that buffer and then switch between the live current feed from the, from the capture device to one of those buffered inputs. Yeah, um, the, the output which is shown to the top right, this is your output window, can be displayed once you hit external. Let me show you this. Okay, so once installed, the, the, the software, um, or you will have a um, capture device in your list of capture devices, which is called vMix output. I will show you this later. And this is basically this, this test image right there. Uh, yeah, to start the, the output, I will have to hit external. Not showing anything currently. Stop it. Yeah, okay. So let's include the capture device. Okay, so I'm, I'm walking through you, uh, walking you through um, some basic stuff with this software. I'm no expert on the software either. If you're feeling that I'm missing something, uh, feel free to ask in the comments if I can help you there. Uh, yeah, I would like to refer you to their to the vMix forums. Anyway, so uh, hit on add input. I will input my or I will add my capture device as an input. Um, this used to be called capture device. Now it's called camera. In the list of cameras, you will find your capture device. I have a Wii up and running, which is attached to my capture device, a Black Magic Intensity Shuttle via component cable. 
this is this one, the deck link video capture. This is what I said. This is the VMix video which will you uh, which you need to include in your um, streaming software. Okay, let's go with the deck link video capture. The input is com component. The resolution and the frame rate is yeah it comes down to 480p in at 60 frames. Um, this might be a problem for PAL streamers, for European streamers, as European consoles do not output um, non-interlaced or like progressive images on their own. If you're having a problem with that, feel free to leave a comment or write us a message, we'll try to help you. Okay, uh, this video format is dictated by the capture device. This might be different for you, depending on what capture device you're using. Um, there was a Reddit thread where I said, yeah, this software or this solution basically covers all capture devices. Uh, this might have been a bold <laughs> accusation. Um, of course, the software only supports like supported hardware. Um, they have a list here which says they are supporting the Live Gamer, Live Gamer HD for from AVMedia, some Blackmagic devices. I think Gimmer confirmed that the software will also be uh, also supports the Micom Soft XCOM 1. I think it's called that. I'm pretty sure due to this, as long as the hardware provides direct show compatible drivers, the Elgato will be supported as well. Yeah, anyway, let's get back to the input select. Um, no deinterlacing, and I will not use the audio from the capture device. Okay, so <laughs> once started up, you'll see that Falco has beaten me up badly. Yeah, I'll start up a new match. Okay, so this will go on for a while. Um, so this is the current current uh, live output. Um, to have that being displayed in your streaming software, you will have to start the external. There you go. Okay, so now in order to have instant replay, you will need a video buffer. Go Go down here again to add input and you will find the point video delay video delay in here here you can select a source which either could be the output i wouldn't recommend that i would go for the capture device uh, codec is up to you down here you have um, a jog wheel uh, which lets you select how many frames you want to buffer or seconds or which comes down to like bytes of data this used to be restricted to one gigabyte now it's only restricted to your RAM. Um, I will go with 25 seconds here. Okay, so now you're seeing a new input down here. This new input has a new, has some new buttons and stuff here. So um, currently the video buffer is being loaded. This will take like real time to 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 uh, fill the buffer up. Let's queue this up to like 10 seconds behind. And yeah, now I could switch between the replay, the, the buffer, and the current output by clicking either one of these functions here. Um, I particularly like the cube zoom as a transition mode. <laughs> this looks nice, I think. Okay, so it will start to play, like the last 10 seconds which I queued up. I should switch back before this. Yeah, it will start over. Okay, when I um, switch back, the buffer will be refilled. You see, watch the time. There we had it. There was the jump. So uh, if you switch, the, the buffer will not be refilled automatically it will be refilled as soon as you like um, switch back yeah um, 
you could basically you're done you could just switch during <laughs> the match <laughs> and show the replay this is not what we want to do is it smash is too dynamic for that we will have to wait for the end of the match but by then those 25 seconds uh, or the, the the combo you're looking for is probably gone and therefore we would want to save up a video of the of the buffer you can do this by down here okay here you have a um, selection of preset times I could go for like 10 seconds right now I'll this is set to like 9.64 um, if I had hit uh, save now it would save up the last 10 seconds here I could go with like 20 or 25 or whatever you you uh, how big you set your your buffer um, this is kind of a destination where it will be saving to red green orange purple take a look over here red green orange purple um, with other editions of this software, you will have up to 1000 inputs. This software, this basic version only allows you four inputs at a time. So, um, but with the 1000, you would want to have groups or categories into wh where you can sort the inputs in, into. Yeah, um, I would recommend to select the category nonetheless, because it will produce a, a failure if I'm not selecting um, a group. So I hit save now. This will take about like real time 10 seconds in order to save the video of the last 10 seconds which happened here. The, the buffer will stop in that recording period but will commence as soon as the fin uh, video is finished. Now I'm having my video here. This was automatically added due to the selection of red. As I said um, this will produce an error if I choose a list. Let me show this real quick. I can close the input down here on close. Going with list. The buffer will stop. Video will be prepared and automatically added to the list. No. No, it won't. Yeah, I don't know why this happens. Hmm. Anyway, so let's save it. Uh, video <laughs> mm -hmm. okay now imagine your match would be over and you okay let's 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 watch for let's look for the cool combo yeah there <laughs> not really a cool combo but nevertheless okay match is over let's switch to that oh no what happened there that was weird. Never mind. Um, yeah, so there was your queued up video. In order to have slow motion, you will y have to use these jog wheels. Currently, it is set to 100% playback speed. Let's go with 50. Or I can click on here and select 50 as a preset value. Rewind it switch back and will be played back in, in uh, at 50% like 20% like real fast okay this is exactly how it works for the buffer here um, yeah basically you're good to go um, oh I would like to show you one cool thing maybe this you have recognized this Every time we're showing a uh, replay, we're having a little rack symbol up here to indicate that it, is, um, that it is a replay. That it is a replay. In order to have this symbol up here, I will need it. Uh, I will need to include this first as a new input. It's this one. It's a GIF. I will have to include GIFs via the video select not as an image this has alpha channel yes exactly so now i'm having my new input down here and i would want to have this as an overlay in here to adjust the overlay you click down here on the overlay and yeah um, 
you only in the basic version you're only allowed to work with one overlay at a time so it's number one for you uh, the overlay will be picture in picture which allows us to readjust the size of the, the image and you can reposition it down here or like click you know, drag and drop this this red box here so what will happen if I hit one this turns off the, the input um, this input will be displayed up here as a picture-in-picture -picture overlay there you go cool okay um, but I'm not clicking this every time I switch the inputs I I let an automatic trigger let that I let an automatic trigger do that for me yeah there uh, to adjust triggers you double click on one of those inputs I'll go with the capture device there you have a point called trigger so what I want to do trigger function input as an input I want to activate the rec image activate as in as input number one and I would want to activate it on transitioning out of the current live capture feed so what this should do is as soon as I switch from this to any other source uh, it should activate um, this input as an overlay up here okay let's, let's choose this one rewind switch and there you have your image or your, your overlay okay it's not being removed that's because one trigger is missing same one reversed reverse logic on transitioning in I would want to deactivate this input which one the rec symbol okay let's try this again activated and deactivated as soon as I fade back okay so yeah I hope this helps you guys um, I hope I haven't missed anything oh yeah um, this jock wheel here on the new video that has been added due to the with the with the save function um, the jock wheel might be missing if this is the case, right click on the input and select show height playback speed. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I have showed you all I know. Um, if you think I missed out on something, then yeah, leave a comment or write us a message on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get to that if we can. Otherwise, feel free to use the vMix forums. Okay, that's all for now. See you guys.